Kamusta na mga bata? Ito ang ating magiging bagong classroom. Dahil ngayon ay nasa virtual class tayo, at dahil sa mga balakid na hindi natin may iwasan, hayaan nyo akong gumawa ng mga tutorial videos na maaari ninyong balik-balikan. Sana ay makatulong ng mga bagay na ito upang mas papadali ang inyong pag-aaral na mathematics sa ating new normal. Ang ating unang topic na pag-uusapan ay ang arithmetic sequence. Tara, at makinig kayo sa inyong musikerong maestro!
value of each term. Kanina yung n natin is number of terms. Ito naman is value of each term. And of course, D is common difference. Andaan yan ha, para alam natin pinag-uusapan natin. Okay, we have a sub n is equal to 4. And katulad na sinabi ko kanina, gagamitin natin itong number of uh, terms. So we have, if we have n is equal to 1, so we have here a sub 1. Dapat ang lalabas sa a sub 1 na, the first term natin is 69. Correct? So try natin. We are going to substitute this n in our formula, 4 times n. So substitution, we have 4 times 1. That is only equal to 4. So meron tayong problema. Kasi ang first term natin dapat lalabas ay 69, not 4. So, ano ang gagawin natin para makukuha tayo ng 69? Siyempre, we will add 65. So, pag nag-add tayo ng 65 dito, magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng 69. Bali, lumalabas 4 times 1 plus 65. So, therefore, ang formula na gagamitin natin dapat ay 4n plus 65. Yan ngayon yung gagamitin natin. Let us try this formula para makuha naman natin yung a sub 2. Dapat ay 73. So, we will have here a sub 2 is equal to using the formula or our n now is equal to 2. 4 times 2 plus 65 is equal to 4 times 2 is 8 plus 65. That is equal to 73. So, lumalabas. Tama pa rin siya dito. Try naman natin ngayon para mabilis. Uh, huwag na tayong dumaan dito sa 3, 4, 5, 6, punta tayo sa 8 so, sa 8 term dapat 97 so we will have our a sub 8 is equal to 4, our n now is 8, 4 times 8 plus 65 what is 4 times 8? that is equal to 32 plus 65 and the total is what's the total? 97. Tama siya dito. Oh. Ito, 97. 97 rin yun. So, therefore, this is the correct explicit formula. A sub n is equal to 4n plus 65. Siyempre, meron pa tayong kulang. Ano pa? Kailangan natin hanapin yung 23rd term. Okay, kunin natin. So, we have now a sub 23 is equal to using the formula we have 4 times 23 plus 65 medyo mataas na yan eh. what is 4 times 23 that is equal to 92 very good that is 92 plus 65 oh, kunin lang natin yung total magkakaroon tayo ng 157 yan yung ating a sub 23 Okay, tanyo na. Kapag nakuha natin yung explicit formula, madali na natin makukuha kahit anong term na papahanap sa atin. Maliwanag ba? Punta ngayon tayo dito sa ating second example. Kung mapapansin nyo dito sa ating first example, ano siya? Increasing or decreasing? That is increasing. So, pansinin nyo kapag increasing, ano yung common difference? positive 4. Ano kaya pagdating naman sa decreasing order or now we're decreasing sequence? Ano kaya yan common difference sa atin? Check natin. Okay? So this time, kunin natin yung common difference. Katulad na sinabi ko kanina, we will just subtract yung second term sa first term. So magkakaroon tayo na negative 2 minus 3. What is negative 2 minus 3? Of course, same sign. So we will add. And that is negative I check naman natin yung kabila. Negative 7 minus negative 2. Ako, sir, paano yan? Kasi tumatlo na yung sign na negative. Kanina, dalawa lang. Gagamitin natin syempre yung ating natutunan nung nandun tayo sa grade 7. How to multiply a same sign. So, of course, this is negative 7. Negative times negative will become positive. So, negative 7 plus 2, negative 5 pa rin. So, lumalabas, meron tayong common difference. At para masigurado natin yung kunin na natin ito negative 12 minus 7. So, we'll have negative 12 minus negative 7. Check natin. O, paano kaya yan? So, same thing kung ano yung ginawa natin dito sa ating 
Uh, this is the second na ating sinabtract. Ganun din gagawin natin dito. So, magkakaroon tayo negative 12 plus 7. What is negative 12 plus 7? That is also equal to negative 5. Lumalabas. We have a common difference here. Which is equal to negative 5. So, ngayon, malalam, nalaman na natin na kapag decreasing order yung ating sequence, negative po makukuha natin common difference. Kapag positive, makukuha naman natin ay positive. Or increasing order. Okay? Punta tayo ngayon dito sa ating second sample. Ituloy lang natin. So, kunin natin yung explicit formula. For example, eto, gusto kong ipakuha sa inyo what is the 97 term. Naku, medyo malayo ba siya din? Sir, palagang uubos ng oras yan kapag ka kinuha natin 97 term. So, ang solusyon, kunin natin yung explicit formula din, syempre. Explicit formula. Katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, tulad ng first example, ginamit lang natin yung ating common difference and we just multiply it by n. So, seems the same. So, we have now, a sub n is equal to negative 5 times n. So, dapat lalabas ang 3 sa ating first term. So, ano gagawin natin? So, we have now, for example, ginamit ko yung first term. a sub 1 is equal to negative 5 times 1 because I just used first term. So, therefore, I also substitute 1 here. So, I have negative 5. But, problema tayo. The first term here, using this formula, nakuha tayo negative 5. Pero, ang actual na first term natin should be 3. Isipin natin, ano gagawin natin para itong negative 5 ang maging positive 3? Tama. I-add natin sa 8. Okay? Kasi pag in-add natin yan, negative 5 plus 8 lalabas that is equal to 3. So, therefore, ang gagamitin natin formula is negative 5n plus 8. I-add lang natin yung 8. Try natin kunin yung a sub 2. Dapat ang makuha natin ay negative 2. A sub 2 is equal using the formula negative 5 times 2 because our n now is equal to 2 plus 8. Sulat ko lang dito ha. Nag-add tayo kanina ng 8. That is equal to what is negative 5 times 2? That is equal to... Very good. That is negative 10. Then we just add 8. Magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng negative 10 plus 8. Negative 2. Very good. And that is negative 2. Try natin sa A sub 3. Kung parehas lang. Parehas natin sa A sub 3. Burahin ko muna ito sa dali. Ha? Okay. A sub 3. Tignan natin A sub 3. That is equal to using our formula. Negative 5 times 3 plus 8. And that is equal to negative 5 times 3. That is negative 15. Very good. And negative 15 plus 8 is equal to, kasi negative yan, negative 7. Tama ba? Negative 7? You know, parehas. So. so therefore, this is a correct explicit formula for our second example. At dahil may tanong tayo, what is the 97 term? Kunin natin yung 97 term. So we have now a sub 97 is equal to negative 5 times 97 plus 8. Ako, medyo mahaba-haba na yung ating uh, isosolve kasi negative 5 times 97. Pero madali pa rin yan. Kayang-kaya pa rin natin yan. So, we will have negative 400 400 what? 85. We have negative 485 plus And that is equal to negative 400, 400 what? 409, parang mali. Kasi add na, i-subtract natin to. So we have 407, 15 minus 8, what is 15 minus 8? That is equal to 7, tama. So we have negative 477 and this is our A97. Yun. So ngayon, meron tayong dalawa na ginawa na example. At nakita natin yung pagkakaparehas nila. Ano pagkakaparehas nilang dalawa? Tama. Parehas silang may common difference. And we use that common difference to get the explicit formula. So therefore, let us define what is arithmetic sequence. The arithmetic sequence is a sequence that has common difference. Sana itong dalawang sample ko na to nakatulong sa inyo kung paano natin kukunin yung explicit formula at the same time kung ano ang definition ng arithmetic sequence. 
Hanggang sa muli, ito po ang inyong musikerong maestro. Salamat! <laughs>